everyone this video is in collaboration with motivation medicals and today i'm going to talk about what my journey has been coming from a different country to the united states and being a dentist here well a third year dental student close to the degree so let's jump in. I was born and brought up in Punjab, India, and I went to high school there. I did med stream, which is basically biology, chemistry, and physics in your high school in depth. I graduated from high school in 2014, and a year before graduation is when I started sending out my applications to study in the US. Um, for that, I started studying for the standardized test which is called SAT. I took like five or six months to study for it and I took it twice. I got a score of 1870. I'm not sure how it's graded now, but back in 2013, that's how the grading scale was. And it was pretty decent to get into a good university for your bachelor's. So um, I did that and then after applying, I got accepted into a couple of good schools. January 2015 when I came to the US and went to Stony Brook in New York, Long Island. That's where I was still undecided on my major and I was still exploring my options and what I wanted to do. I always had an interest in sciences and I always wanted to do something in the healthcare field so i decided to follow the pre-dental route um and i decided to major in biochemistry which worked out pretty great because biochemistry major has some subjects which overlap with the prerequisites that are required for dental schools i was able to finish all my prerequisites while pursuing for a biochemistry degree and i was able to finish everything in three years because there is an option to take more credits if you want every semester and take credits over the summer. And I was just really ambitious, I guess. I wanted to get to dental school as soon as possible. So I graduated um, the spring semester of 2018. I'm gonna talk about five things that I made sure I did to make my application stronger. The first was obviously to get a good score on the DATs, which is dental admission test. So I planned to take the DAT right after I finished my courses, like heavy science-based courses, like organic chemistry 2, biochem 2. And I did this so I don't have to study again for DATs. And I could just reinforce what I had studied for my courses while preparing for the DATs, which worked out pretty great. I took it in the summer of my junior year and I submitted my applications already and I was just waiting on my school. If you want to know how I prepared for my DAT, make sure to go check out my website. It's on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Raisin Sani, just my first and last name. I can link it down below too. And I just go in depth with every section and how I prepared for it. And I was able to get a 22 um, AA score. It's a pretty good score if you want to get into a dental school. And then the second thing I would say of recommendations, make sure you have a good connection with your professors. Go talk to them, talk to them in their office hours and ask them questions so they can write you good letters of recommendation. My school had a thing called committee letter in which all the letters of recommendations are combined in a big letter, which is more efficient to send to different schools. So make sure if your school has such a thing, then you should definitely go for that instead of asking for letters individually. So the third thing I would say is research. Research isn't that required for um, dental schools, but it does make your application stand out. And I was able to get a letter of recommendation from my research mentor as well. So that was a great benef benefit of doing research. Third thing I would say is shadow a dentist or volunteer at the hospital. Just get some clinical experience because that's a major for what dental schools look for. Some 
schools do recommend 100 hours of shadowing but make sure you check the websites of dental schools you want to apply to and go from there so the last thing i would say is get more involved in clubs and student councils and uh, make sure you're a member or on board for your pre-dental society which is a great resource while you're in undergrad to make guide you through the process and give you more resources so these are the five things that i did for my dental school applications and after applying to 10 schools i heard back from five schools and i interviewed and got accepted into five i decided on pittsburgh and i started my first year as a dental student in august of 2018 and now i'm in my third year and i definitely excited to graduate next year and finally have that degree that i've been working for thank you for watching this video if you found this video of any help or if you have any questions feel free to comment below you can also message me on instagram and let me know what you would want me to make more videos about bye Yeah.